everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Lunari and Jean. Today I'm reacting to the first episode of Solo Leveling. I have heard about this story for many years, but I put off reading it because I heard that it was going to be an anime, but I know that it's very popular. All I know is that it has some fight scenes, but I don't know anything about characters or why the characters are fighting and... I don't even know if the story is over yet, so I'm excited to get into this. If you'd like to check out my other content, I post anime and K-drama reactions. And very soon I will be resuming my One Piece journey doing reactions to the manga chapters from 1058 and onwards. So no spoilers, please. So I'm excited to see what solo leveling is about. I'm starting episode one after a countdown. Three, two, one, play. Three years ago. Okay, are these boats attacking the island or did those explosions just happen on the island? Solo leveling Dubu Studio? Leave this to the hunters. Is that a giant ant? Okay, so I'm not sure if this is the real world. Are they in a game? Is this a fantasy world? Okay, we've got some magic users. Oh, okay, blood. Here we go. Okay. Too low ranked to stand a chance. Okay, I still don't know if they're in a game or if this is the real world. Healing magic. Byung-gu. Yunho. Okay, this guy is strong. I've got a lightning user or electricity. He's got claws, the guy in orange. Byung-gu. I knew you two would protect me. What if these guys who just showed up are about to be taken out by some monster. Like, I, I don't know if these guys are the main characters. Unsok. Okay, lightning user is Unsok. Okay. It's, it's impressive, like the fighting. I just don't know if this is real right now or are we in a game? <laughs> like if people die right now, I just don't know if I'm supposed to be devastated. <laughs> or it's like, oh, they could just respawn. I'm sure it will be explained soon. Okay, he's getting stronger. This guy's like lightning wolverine. Okay, who is this person with red hair? Guildmaster Choi. Over 10 years ago, a series of gates linking our world to an alternate dimension appeared. Okay. The other side of each gate teamed with bizarre creatures called magic beasts, immune to conventional weaponry. 
Those who have awakened the abilities necessary to fight these beasts are called hunters. Okay. Based on the amount of magical power contained within their bodies, they're ranked S, A, B, C, D, or E. Once these powers have awakened, no amount of individual effort can ever result in greater strength. So you you either have the power and you're strong, or even if you have the power, training doesn't help you progress, or you're just, you're just gifted, I guess? But it's called solo leveling, so does the main character actually train and get stronger? Okay, so I think we're in the real world, and then there are these portals that connect to another dimension. So in the scene earlier, I wonder if, if those people were in the other dimension fighting. But then I saw some buildings that looked like they were from our world. Maybe those ants came through the dimension? Sung. Is this our main character? His nickname is the weakest hunter of all mankind. A trip through an e-gate landed him in the hospital. Uh-oh, I'm worried about everybody getting killed except for him. <laughs> Jin Wu, Ju He. Is she a hunter too? That's what I'm wondering. Humble leader, Song Chiu. I just have a bad feeling that our, our guy Song is gonna be the only person out of this group to survive this mission. Like, maybe they're underestimating this mission that they're going on right now. Oh no, does the girl die? <laughs> like, we were just introduced to her, so I'm not really attached yet. Chairman Go. Dungeon breaks are a problem. Okay, so that's why they're going through the dimensions to bring back resources. The stones collected from defeating beasts, these essence stones, they're valuable. So he's holding an essence stone right now? Oh no, 
His knife is breaking. Oh, ouch. Ah, uh, that's a lot of blood. Is she a healer? Okay, okay, okay. The essence stones collected from high-ranked beasts can be turned into powerful weapons and gear for fighting other beasts. Okay. Mana crystals that can be collected from dungeons have a similar application, but they're less potent. The government is interested in a new power source, safer than nuclear, more efficient than water, wind, and geothermal and one that doesn't pollute the atmosphere like fossil fuels, the ideal clean energy source. Generate electricity using essence stones and monocrystals. Okay, I know I read a lot of that out loud, but I'm just trying to understand this world. I feel like that wasn't the last boss. No, 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 that was not the last boss. I just have a bad feeling. They're celebrating too early. Is she the only healer on the team right now? Because what if she gets hit first? Then we're all dead. I'm worried that she's going to get impaled or something really suddenly. Don't say it's over. There's something bad is about to happen. Is this some kind of worm burrowed this? Are you sure that was a dungeon boss? Uh, I just have a bad feeling. D rank dungeon. He's got another kid on the way. Now I have a bad feeling that guy's going to die. Uh-oh, is he going to say, let's go, and then everybody that goes dies? Now that dad's gone missing, I'm the only one who can provide for my family. I need money for mom's treatments and send my sister to college. Okay, so that's why he's doing this. Oh no, I have a bad feeling. Everybody but him is going to die. Touch the black crystal with one hand. What is this? <laughs> There's a lot in this episode. I'm just trying to understand everything. Does the black crystal tell you what rank you are? One B rank and two C rank have agreed to sign. 
Guildmaster Choi. Compared to Cha Hain. Ooh, is she Cha Hain? She's cool. Ah, Cha Hain, an S rank hunter. Okay, she can really jump. I can't tell if that's part of a special ability or she's just really good at jumping. <laughs> I have a bad feeling everybody but him is going to die or get severely injured. I'm really worried that she's the only healer with them right now. Okay, she's a B-rank healer. Uh-oh, uh-oh, making promises for the future. Death flag. I would not go. To the newly awakened, I am the chairman of the Hunters Association, Go Gun He. It's been over 10 years since the gates first appeared. I feel like the people in this room are going to be friends with the main character. Please be afraid. Hmm, don't hear that often. I'm getting like SAO vibes. Like this is going to go bad. Are those going to move? No, I, they're the bosses, I think. That's probably a boss, the giant one. This one's way bigger than the rest. I think you're looking at them. Kartanon Temple, first, revere God, second, praise God, prove your faith to God. Uh-oh, the eyes moved. Will not leave alive. So do you just have to praise them as gods and then they won't harm you? I was going to say it earlier. I have a bad feeling that the door was going to close. So 
So do they just have to praise God? And then it'll be fine. This guy's going to be the first to die. He can't leave. Oh my God. Yeah, no healing you from that. So do you have to praise God, revere God, and then it'll be fine? The statue's going to look at him, right? I've stood on the precipice of death plenty of times before. In my first raid ever, I got separated from everyone else and ended up stranded. I've been attacked by E-rank beasts and spent weeks in the hospital afterwards. I almost starved to death in a labyrinth before, too. No matter how low rank the dungeon was, I was always fighting for my life. Okay? Most hunters are able to buy gear with the money they make from selling essence stones. So they can beat enough stronger beasts and reap... Uh, even bigger rewards. And I think his knife was already, yeah, it already broke, right? So does he have another one? I've endured being mocked and put up with life. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's very observant, but how do you escape something like that? One person was just disintegrated. Did... Do you just have to praise God? Like, well, what were the instructions? Instructions unclear. Is the episode gonna, that's the end of the episode. Very interesting episode. Uh, first impressions, it does remind me of SAO, but I hope it's very different. I like that it's not a game. This is real life. Motives for going through the dimensions are to bring back resources. So, okay, makes sense that people would want to go there um, instead of just steering clear of the portals. Our main character, I like that he's not the strongest in the group. And I think he's like an underdog and we're going to see his journey to get stronger. Yeah, it makes sense. If you go there, you you get valuable resources you come back and then you kind of turn them into stronger weapons or you can buy stronger weapons but i think his skills of observation i guess will help him here maybe all i can think of is the instructions that were saying like you have to praise god revere god and then otherwise you won't be able to leave maybe if he starts praying out loud i don't know I had a bad feeling in the beginning of the episode. I was, I thought maybe he would be the last one alive and, or the only one alive from this mission. And I'm, yeah, I'm not attached to the girl that's with him. I just have a bad feeling that she was going to die. And I don't know if the girl who was really good at jumping, who helped that girl get her purse back, she's an S rank hunter. Is she a love interest for the main character or they're just going to work on the same team? Very intriguing first episode. I'm looking forward to more. If you'd like to recommend an anime or K-drama for me to react to, please check out my anime list and K-drama list. Links are in the description. And thank you for watching this episode with me. I look forward to more. Hope to see you in the next one.